It's one of the things that irritate me the most. You hit a bad shot, a well-meaning friend or a caddy tells you you hit a bad shot because you're swinging too fast. So normally your reaction would be to slow down the backswing. So you take it back as slow as you can. You even pause at the top. And then what happens? You swing abruptly on the downswing. You never get on the left side. You chicken wing, you cut across the ball, and then you fall over. Um, and then what does that person tell you next? Uh, you quit on the shot. You didn't follow through. The question is, did that person really see you swinging too fast? I doubt if it really happened. It's the same as looking up. It's just that that person is so used to hearing that same excuse uh, uh, from other people. Um, the problem is compounded by the fact that when we, when we watch better players, touring pros, their swings look so smooth and efficient, uh, so effortless. And then we misinterpret that as slow. Now, how the heck do you hit past 300 yards if you're slow? Come on. Um, that part shouldn't be hard to understand. What's hard to accept for most people is that slowing down your tempo, especially on the backswing, slowing it down excessively can actually ruin your timing. You swing out of sequence, just like uh, what I showed you earlier. Now, I can bore you with concepts like um, stretch shorten cycles, ground reaction forces, agonist antagonist muscles, etc. But instead, I'm just going to show you something that will take care of all of that without getting paralysis by analysis. I have here something called uh, blast attached to the butt of my club and uh, this thing measures backswing duration, downswing duration and uh, of course the ratio between the two. Um, so I'm going to hit some balls just so you have a better picture of what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at the data. It says here that it only took me 0.86 seconds to finish my backswing and 0.29 to get from the top of the swing back to impact. And the ratio between backswing and downswing was 3 to 1. Um, total time to get from setup to impact is 1.15 seconds. Um, 1.15 seconds. Some of you need that much time just to get the club to waist high. By the way, that was a 7 iron. Based on foresight or the launch monitor here, I carried the ball 168 yards. It may look smooth, but it's by no means slow. Okay? So remember, swinging the club fast doesn't automatically make you hit bad shots. You hit bad shots simply because you swung fast incorrectly.